Ten years ago, the internet revolution was powered by dial-up. Today, it's fueled by an explosive growth in high-speed networks and bandwidth, and a proliferation of new devices that make everything portable. That everything includes your identity, your location, and your ability to transmit and receive information instantaneously, from your friends or the world to your mobile phone. Well, the interesting thing about the the mobile phone is, is really the, the transition not to a mobile phone, but mobile computer. Consumers want their mobile phones to be their Swiss army knife of information. China is the world's largest mobile communications market. There are nearly 800 million mobile phone users, and by 2011, 100 million people there will be using mobile phones to access the internet. They're using mobile phones as a smart terminal, as a computer, as a combination of a gaming device, music, movie players. China Mobile has 25,000 developers designing application software or apps for smartphones. So one of the very successful areas that we have done uh, is to use the multimedia messaging or MMS to be a medium with which to deliver a newspaper. Today that newspaper is delivered for more than 50 million a day. Having the highest number of subscribers of any newspaper in China and perhaps any newspaper in the world. And as the total number of apps downloaded reaches 4 billion, the mobile phone has become more than just a communication device, more like a remote control for your life. There's always been this dream of, of having the mobile wallet and um, you know everything on this on this one this one simple device. And I think it's it's nearly here. In San Francisco, app developers Square are bringing that dream one step closer to reality. The idea behind Square is to allow anyone to start accepting payments. And um, in the US, the majority of the citizens have moved to paying with plastic cards, prepaid cards, credit cards. Do you like a cappuccino? So Square allows someone to very simply take one of those plastic payments. Be $3 for you, sir. Our business benefits in that we're able to take transactions where people normally wouldn't have cash in their pocket. All right, looks like you've been here before. All of our transactions at this moment are pretty small. It's just a cup of coffee here and there. That matches. And so um, the fees and charges and startup cost of having to get a credit card terminal in here doesn't make sense for what we're doing right now. Um, Square provides that for us. The first decade of this millennium was the decade of the mobile industry. And the second decade will be the one for mobile broadband. There have been tremendous use of mobile services over the past few years, and there's still more to come. 